Hi everybody, I just got back from the flea market and found some great jewelry finds and I wanted to share them with you. Um, there's some high-end ones and some low-end ones, so let's jump in and see what I got here. So I did find several necklaces, which I was really on the search for, and I found some glass black beaded ones. The one up on top here is, I believe it's coral, and it looks like mother of pearl beads with a spring ring. I'm going to have to look into that one a little bit closer. Down here we have this lovely gold tone chain, which is kind of a leaf, pointed leaf looking design. And gold chunky necklaces are in this year, so I thought I'd pick that up. There, it is no name brand. This large multi-layered black beaded um, necklace is from Kenneth J. Lane. The one next to it is a Coro, and there's the um, end tag that hangs on it. It doesn't say Coro on that. It says it on the clasp, but it's a lovely AB rhinestone necklace. The one next to it, the silver one, is no name brand, but it is a lovely piece. And next to that are these two Hobe... Um, a bracelet and a necklace and I was very excited to find them and I got them in the the cheaper um, booth I think they were selling for about two dollars these next ones have a lovely mint green glow to them which I don't think it's coming across on the camera very well let me see if I can get it to adjust a little bit it's still a little more green than it's showing but this is a lovely piece and next to that is a Monet, just a bracelet. It was very inexpensive. And then we have this lovely pendant, which is a no-name brand, and it's definitely a vintage necklace. It has a kind of a push lock clasp on the end. And sorry, I sorted these in cardboard boxes, a lovely backdrop for these. But this next one is an enamel linked necklace and a bracelet that looks like white enamel leaves and then up here we found this lovely geometric 1980s necklace isn't that just awesome i say awesome dude and next to it is um uh, ab rhinestone pearl multi-layered heavy duty necklace that one i just love and next to that, it's probably Hong Kong or Japan, but it's glass beaded. It's really pretty. And over here, I found this silver tone choker. I thought it could possibly be sterling, but it wasn't marked. So I figured it probably wasn't, but it was still a nice piece. And somebody's going to love that. And then we have three pieces here that are... Accessories, this lovely tortoise shell, probably 1980s butterfly clip, and this mother of pearl two-piece set with that's etched hair, hair clip. And then this piece is a belt buckle, and it's carved and stained with green, but it is Bakelite. Pretty cool piece. That one was very inexpensive. I couldn't believe he only wanted a dollar for it. Then we also have some more necklaces. This one here is a just a, a short choker type necklace. And I believe it's probably from the 1940s. I've found several of these and sold them. They're always really short. I don't know. I think they had smaller necks back then. And then this one next to it is a Sarah Coventry. It's marked Sarah Coventry. But it has a lobster claw clasp. I kind of think that the clasp was redone on it. But she's known to have these bar link chain um, necklaces. So it's a, and it's a cool pendant. A tassel type pendant. Then we have next to this a shield necklace that's really short. It's kind of a choker. But the gold is in really good color. Or still has really good color to it. But it's really short. And I found this pocket watch. And I mainly, I don't really like buying watches because you have to replace batteries and stuff. But I did find 
this one with a watch fob on it, which is in really good shape. And maybe it's newer. I'm not real familiar with watch fobs, but I know that people seek them out. And then next to that is a a bracelet and a and a multicolored bracelet that are Swarovski. They have to be. They're just so bright and gliss they glisten. Um, just so different than your regular beads. And then this is a really cool ring. It's got A B square stones on it and they really stand up high on the the ring i couldn't pass it up i don't buy a whole lot of rings you probably noticed but this was pretty cool and then this is one of my favorite finds this chunky silver chain ralph lauren vintage necklace lauren ralph lauren and it's, i believe it's a men's but it's choker it barely fits me. I got a fat neck. And then we have this cloisonne style bracelet that has a blue enamel interior and it's a cute linked. I thought this was really cool. I've never seen one like this. It's pearls and gold chain, gold rings with a fold over clasp on it. I always pick up these polka dot bracelets. I don't know what, I just love them. And this was an interesting one. It, the color goes all the way through it. Kind of makes me wonder if it's Bakelite, but I'm not for sure. This one was actually marked. It's still got the tag in it. It says made in Taiwan. So that is definitely a vintage piece. Republic of China. This silver one was in with a bag of bracelets, so I may try selling it. And we have this bracelet with a black enamel and gold etching in it. That's a clamper. And this copper bracelet. And that blue turquoise colored bracelet is wooden. I thought that was just unique. It kind of reminds me of the 1980s. And I found several glass beaded bracelet or necklaces layered one of them this one is real long i just love these things i always sell them i can't resist buying them and i found two bracelets that might go with some of them this one here is a stretch it's got the silver um, stretch inside i can't think of what they call that that one's a double layer bracelet and then this is a really cool set it's enamel. It looks like fabric almost, but it's enamel and it was a set. That one I love. Let's jump over here to brooches. Here's my whole cardboard box of brooches. It's kind of hard to sort all these. There's so many. I found several enamel ones and then this cool cameo that's Christmassy. Lovely piece. Starburst, rhinestone one, a couple of Christmas ones. I'll probably put them two together. This is a camphor, C-A-M-P-H-O-R, camphor um, brooch. Another lovely one. Look at these birds, they're cute. And a rose, several rose ones. These rose type ones spin, or they they move, I should say. They're, they're on a rivet, so they kind of move around as you can see has some give to it probably from the 50s and I found this button I believe which I'm not too familiar with that stuff this pink bow here is a Kenneth J Lane Look at that cool starburst one there's some really cute nice little rhinestone ones here the one is a mother of pearl and a little Christmas tree pearl one that's in really good shape. Another Christmas tree one that's unique. That's why I picked it up. It's no name brand. Some other rhinestone ones. And I believe this is a Monet, which I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, it's a Monet marked. Enamel. 
I love the white leaf. I think that's thermoset and leaf apples. I'm probably going to combine a lot of the fruit ones, like this cherry one. I just think that's great. I love that one. There's a puppy that's kind of got a cutout. The little flower. Beautiful opalite. AB rhinestone one. Blue rhinestones. Cross one. Here's some schnauzer pup scatter pins. And there's a nautical boat in there. Look at the fly filled with rhinestones. Pave. This one kind of looks like a jelly belly, but he's red stones. And the two next to it are old. Let me show you the backs of them. See the clasp on it is a C clasp. Very old. And uh, Mother of Pearl. This one has a little flaw in the middle of the shell, but I'm going to have to just state that. Then over here, this big swirl is a Monet. And these two here are Sarah Coventry, which are pretty common. Then we have some cool mother of pearl inlaid designs. I love them too. They're just gorgeous. And I thought I'd pick up the little spring bucket and the acorn. They just seem like spring type brooches. Okay, and then over here, I paid up for these pieces right here. This box alone, I believe, was about $60. But it's still a pretty good price. I have these rhinestones 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 some kind of resin some metal ones them are coral this one is a coral the blue and this green one is just gorgeous and this silver tone one i don't believe it's a name if it is anything it's sarah coventry and then this chunky gold one did not have a name but I had to get it. It's, it's a heavy-duty, nice one. This up here, these Napier are kind of um, inexpensive, newer ones. And this bag right here, I bought a couple bags to make one set. And they're, some of them are so tarnished, I don't even think I'm going to sell them. And here's the earrings that I got. Got some really pretty earrings. A lot of screwbacks. Um, lever backs, rhinestones, opalite. I love them. Dangle opalite. And then over here is all Trafari singles. If anybody has any matches that go with these, please let me know because I'm going to put them out there on the single earring Facebook page otherwise. But there's one in here I wanted to show you in particular that I'm on the search for. There's a baby tooth earring. One lonely one. He's missing several rhinestones, but I might replace the stones in them. It might be worth it. And next to it is a Miriam Haskell screwback that I need a pair for. So if you're, if you have one, let me know. And that is it. I spent lots of money, almost $240, and I got about 154 items, maybe more like 150 items that I can sell because some of them were broke. So I probably paid $2.50 for each piece. So I think I did pretty good, pretty happy with this haul. Thanks for joining me. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.